seems the last half of spring practice, you've really made a move to get a ton of first-team reps. Why do you think that is compared to maybe the first four or five practices? Um, more attention to detail and um, probably a harder work, work ethic. Just trying to get, uh, get in position, make plays, you know, stand out on film. Is that something you talk about? You just mentioned the harder work ethic. Is that something that they've inspired you to, or maybe you know this is this is the last go around? I guess what what's gotten you there? No, uh, it's a little bit of everything. You know, uh, mostly it's the last go around. You know, you don't have enough op opportunity. And uh, secondly, is a film we watched by Ray Lewis when at the end he said effort is between you and you, and they've been preaching that you know week after week, and it really hits home. You know, nobody can do it like you can. When did you guys watch that? Was it D line thing or the uh, defense it was, thing? It was the team thing we watched uh, early last week. And what I guess what spoke to you in that man? Just that one phrase at the end? Yeah, it was it was that one thing, you know, he uh, he basically said throughout the film that, you know, the way he made it to the NFL for, you know, 14, 15 years is the fact that he gave effort, you know, he was the one running to the ball all the time. And at the end he said effort's between you and you and that's the thing that, you know, Coach Bush Jones has been preaching to us. So uh, you know, it's really hitting on. Who was this Corey that you referred to? Uh we was watching the film on Ray Lewis when uh, you know he came down and said effort is between you and you. And the only person that can control how hard you go on the field is yourself. So for you, I mean, how's that played out? What what besides effort has gotten better than in these last 13 practices that you've had this spring? Uh, details, hand placement, um, you know, pass rush technique, pass rush lanes, uh, taking everything in that Coach Tripp talking about, you know, as far as down blocks, you know, uh, stretches, all that type of stuff. Have you spent more time with Coach Tripp going over the film and stuff? Uh, well, at, with us as a defensive line, we always come in. We come in on our own on Sundays and watch extra film, you know, and talk to one, with one another, you know, see how we can get better. Did, uh, I was talking to uh, Daniel about this, but Coach Jones was very excited because Daniel made that play downfield in the scrimmage. Did you see that play on video? Yes, sir. I was excited. Did it surprise you what what he did? I know he can do it. Uh huh. I know he can. It's, you know, it's all about whether or not he wants to. So, you know, we just we're gonna stay on top of him and make sure he keeps getting, giving effort like that. Were you watching the video with him? Was he in the room too when you were watching the replay? Yes, sir. I told him straight up. I was like, hey, look, look at yourself. Look at yourself on film. I was like, look what you can do. You know, just give effort, man. You can, you can cause fumbles. This is always a guy that you don't see. So uh, he made a big play, and I was proud of him. Corey, how different is that defense when Big Dan is in the middle and, and, and he's, his motor's running? I'm a lot more comfortable. <laughs> 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 you know, I look at him like, hey, all right, Dan, let's go. Let's go. And, uh, you know, when you see him giving effort and him going as hard as he can, it makes you, you know, it makes you a, a lot more comfortable at the position you're in because you're like, you know, I know he's taking care of his spot, so I can take care of mine. We'll be fine. Butch Ty has emphasized the fast tempo in practice and everything, but he talked about going into preseason, when you guys come back for preseason camp, of going at an even faster tempo. Do you think you can do that, or do you feel like you're going as fast as you can go right now? Not at all. I feel like we can do it because uh, when you look at the schedule, there's, you know, there's a big highlighter on Oregon right there. So when you see <laughs> an offense like that, I suggest you know our own offense continues to go at that pace as well to you know, set our defense up for success. Have you watched have you watched tape of Oregon at all? Of course. Really? Of course. You know, um, I'm watching I watch a lot of tape on different teams on our mm -hmm. schedule and um, I started to watch Oregon, you know, see the pace of their running plays and you know what type of plays they're running and the steps they're taking. Um, it's all about studying your opponent, so I feel like if you get a jump on it, you'll be successful. Does it, go ahead, Pat. Okay. Uh, does it make you tired just to watch them? They really do go fast. They really do. Uh, I remember my freshman year playing them and that was a wake up call oh, for sure. Okay, that's right. Yeah. So Second go around with it. Corey, you and Byron are pretty active on Twitter. He's out there saying he's going to get <laughs> off Twitter. They don't set the record for attendance on Saturday. So you're going to be able to, to pull up, actually pull that off and, and get off Twitter. Is Byron capable of doing that? We don't set the record. We're both off. Are y'all going to be able to do that, though? I'll be able to do it. I don't know about him. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, going into this summer, what are some of the things you personally are going to focus on? Because like everybody else was saying, you know, this is when fall camp starts, this is it for you. Um, there's nothing that I shouldn't focus on, to be honest with you. I should I should be working, you know, getting better in the weight room. Like, I'm staying here over the month of May. I'm going to stay in the weight room. I'm going to work out. I already called mom and told her I wouldn't come home. Um, this is the last opportunity. I want to work on my feet, you know, my feet work, my first step off the ball, quickness hand placement, all types of things. Just just take an extra step. You were a really highly recruited guy. Do you feel like especially last year's defense was prohibitive to you playing a lot? Um I would say so. Because in a in a three four defense of course you need the big guys on the front and I wasn't I wasn't necessarily so big and uh, I was kinda I guess you could say I was big big enough. 
to not play linebacker as well. So it was kind of it was kind of hard to try to find a spot there. Were you really frustrated last season? Oh, most definitely. I've, I've had my moments. You know, I've had the low points, and I've, you know, I figured that you know maybe it'd be kind of tough to get on the field, but at the same time, you know, it's always opportunities. Some of the secondary guys and the linebackers have talked about this defense being simpler for them from a call standpoint. Up front, is it how is it different? Is it simpler? I know you guys maybe are, are asking maybe make more plays and just kind of kind of hold the line like you did last year. Um, it's, it's simpler. You know, it's all about holding gaps and uh, being accountable for what you have to do. But at the same time, it's not just holding your gaps. You also want to make plays as well. If you have an opportunity to make a play, you should take it. Chris Chancey, he kind of talks to us about rule sets. It's kind of term. What does he mean by that? Um, like different things, like okay, say if you have a defensive lineman that's supposed to have the C gap, you got to back up that B gap. If you guys don't have your gap, if someone tries to overcompensate and take over your gap, then we have a hole over here. When they come out of the process, it's all about playing your position, know what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it. Corey, when you were watching video, Oregon, I don't know, did you happen to see the game Auburn the next 